This is question 11 from paper 2 of the 2015 National 5 SQA Maths exam. We're given a tabletop in the shape of a hexagon, it consists as you'll see of six equilateral triangles, because the dotted lines are the three diagonals of that regular hexagon that's shown. And we're asked to calculate the area of the top of the table if we know that the length of one of these diagonals is 40 centimetres. So let's just put that in, on this diagram, that that's 40 centimetres. So half of that diagonal going from the centre out to that vertex, centre out to that, will be 20 centimetres. So basically the side of each of these uh, equilateral triangles, and there's six of them, each side is 20 centimetres, and this side also. So there's two different methods we're going to look at to find the total area of the top of this table. So the first method I'm going to use involves a formula that's on your formula sheet as area of triangle A equals a half AB sine C, which basically says that you'll find an area of a triangle, for instance like this, by a half of multiply these two sides together times the sine of the angle in between them, which we know is 60 degrees. So the area of triangle is one half of, in this case, 20 times 20 times the sine of the angle in between them, which we know is 60 because it's an equilateral triangle. And how many are there? Six of them. So the area of the table will be six times that lot. Six times a half times 20 times 20 times sine 60. So that's the calculation we're going to do. Um, here's a calculator. So 6 times a half, 0 0.5, times 20, times 20, times sine of 60. So that's 1039.23 and so on. So that's approximately, let's work out what that is, measurement, units of measurement, would be centimetres squared. Um, oh, and let's just take it to the nearest centimetre squared. So it's approximately 1,039 square centimetres. And that would be to the nearest square centimetre. So that's the first method, using this trigonometric approach where we're using the half a b sine c formula for the area of a triangle. The second method involves, again, looking at this equilateral triangle, but this time drawing in this perpendicular line, where that side's 20, this is a line of symmetry, so this part of this side will be 10 centimetres. So we've got a 20, we've got a 10, and Pythagoras would tell us that this height of the triangle is the square root of 200 squared, and it's not the hypotenuse, there's the hypotenuse there, so it's a subtraction. 200 sorry, 20 squared, that's 20 squared, minus 10 squared. So that's 400 minus 100. That's the square root of 300. And that's the height of the triangle. So the area, we're going to use the half base times height formula. The base is 20, that's the whole base of the triangle, and the height of the triangle we now know is the square root of 300. 
So the area of the table top will be six lots of that. Six times a half of 20 times root 300. And hopefully that'll give us the same as what we had before. So let's test that. Six times a half, 0 0.5 times 20 times the square root of 300. exactly the same answer. So that gives us 1039.23 and so on. And approximately it will be this. Uh, so two completely different methods there. One using Pythagoras' theorem and this formula um, area as a half base times height. And the other using a different formula area as a half AB sine C.